The man who is serious about you, it is extremely unlikely that he would even ask you for money in the early stages of dating. So to me, the fact that if he does ask you, that's a warning sign to begin with. It's a red flag at the very least to address because we have to understand that when a man is serious about a woman, views her as this could be my potential future wife or whatever, his mindset is impressing you. And men know, the vast majority of men understand that finances, financial stability is something that women look for. And no man who's trying to impress a woman wants to come off as broke. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't want to come off as I need you financially. If he doesn't care how that looks to you, it might be because he's just there to use you in the, to begin with. All right? So I don't think that, that the guy who's serious would even ask. But let's just say he's not asking. You just feel maybe you make a lot of money, all right? Some of y'all probably like, hell, I ain't doing that anyway. But some of it, listen, it may not be you, maybe a friend, maybe a family member, or you may find yourself in this position where you're tempted to come out your pocket. And again, eh, don't do it because you're trying to capture his heart because that does not capture the heart of a man. That's not what draws a man to you, not for the right reasons, all right? It can draw the leechers. It can draw the users. It's not what's going to draw the man who truly values, respects, and wants to pour into you. You also don't want to send the message that you're here to fund him, so to speak, to where he just views it as, okay, I don't have to do anything because she does everything for me. And that can happen. But there's something else I want to speak on in regards to this whole giving money that I think it gets a little trickier, but I, I definitely hear more women say, saying that they would do or they're open to doing. And that's paying for the date, all right? Now, listen, let me quick first say quickly, what I'm about to say real right now is my personal view, okay? I would never look for a woman to pay for the date. That's me. I'm not gonna sit here and say people are horrible or men are wrong if they allow a woman to pay for it. I'm not gonna say the woman is, is doing something horribly wrong by paying for it. I'm going to say I don't get down like that. I, 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 I'm not feeling it. What I've always suggested a woman do is offer the tip. Because I think that more importantly than paying, it's showing that you're making, you, you're also invested in the situation such as him. Which I, I do think that can contribute to quote unquote hooking him. Because no man wants to feel used, wants to feel taken advantage of. He wants to know that you're seriously out with him to get to know him. And, and though you may not know this or believe this, there are tons of women that go out with men just for free meals and a free good time, okay? And men have fallen victim to this, so many men have now become wary, and this is where the whole hesitation with paying or wanting to go Dutch can come in for a lot of guys. Now, for me, I'm a believer in if you're concerned about being taken advantage of financially, go on creative dates. And I'm a firm believer that if the one, the same way I say a man does not, a man who's serious about you is not going to ask you for money. I'm a firm believer that when a woman is truly looking at this guy, like this could be something, or I really like him, I'm really attracted to him. She's not going to scrutinize the date as, as much as she would with the guy that I don't know if I really like him, but I'm going to try this out. <laughs> you know, I'm going to give him a shot. It's almost like it's a charity date. Not that you're not open to it going somewhere, but you know, you're not actually into this moment. And so in that scenario, you may be much more particular about the day, what, what was spent, some women. But when you really like him off the bat, you're just, you're enjoying just the opportunity to get to know each other and see where you can build. So to me, the guy should just find a creative date that doesn't break his pocket so he don't feel like he's getting used. But let me not steer too far off of the point. Getting back to you as a woman, giving money, giving gifts, paying for dates. Again, you have to ask yourself, why am I doing this if I'm going to do it? Okay? Again, I'm not going to say there's anything wrong with it. More specifically, I think, let me make this clear. If the man asks you on a date, he needs to pay. I, I just don't see any reason why he would ask you and then expect you to go half or expect you to pay. I think that's a bit ridiculous. That's, that's the way I honestly view it. But if you were to ask him, which 
that doesn't typically happen, but let's just say you're one of those women who are willing to ask a man out, then I do think that that's where you may have to accept the responsibility of pain because you initiated the date, all right? And of course, if it's just, I don't know, if, if I was going to say if it's a mutual thing, but it never really happens mutually. It's kind of just one person really initiates it. But the point I want to make here, and I'm going to move on to the next thing, is sometimes I see women wanting to pay, and it's kind of a defense mechanism. It's not really uh, genuine from the heart. I just want to show that I'm an equal participant in this dating process, or you know, I really genuinely don't have a problem you know, paying the bill. Sometimes it's more like, well, I don't want him expecting nothing, so let me go pay for it. And, and the reason why I think that can be problematic is because if you're having that kind of mindset with him, then in what other ways are you going to be defensive? You see, if this is a defense mechanism that you're using to kind of have a wall up in, in certain ways that to you may seem harmless, but it's not that the actual specific action of paying is so harmful, it's what's the underlying issue that's contributing to it that I would want you to address, all right? And I simply think that, again, in the vast majority of cases, you don't have to do that if he's serious about you, all right? It's a kind gesture, and again, if you feel in your heart that you want to because you genuinely just want to, and you want to show him that you have no problem doing it for him, cool. But also, let me say this, last point, now for real, I will move on to the next thing. Understand the stage you're setting in this potential relationship. If you start coming out the pocket really fast and being a, well, I got to pay my 50-50. And listen, if you're going to tell me you're completely okay with 50-50 for the rest of that relationship, then okay, fine. But if you know that eventually you're going, you're, let's just say you're a woman who feels like, well, once we get in a relationship, I expect him to carry the financial burden. I don't mind contributing, but I expect him to carry more of a burden. Well, then doing those things like paying for the date early on, you're sending a mixed signal, essentially. You're saying to him, I don't mind paying my half, but then you're actually going to switch the tables on him later. Don't do that. Start how you want things to continue. It's the same way I would tell a man, if you don't have fine dining money, all right, or you don't live a fine dining, uh, expensive lifestyle, don't start the dating phase like that because you're going to get her accustomed to a certain living that you cannot sustain. And you're going to essentially switch the tables on her. So the same thing can happen as a woman in this regard. Like, yo, set the expectations that you're going to want to sustain throughout so he understands what he is signing up for. All right. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. Relationships are the key to a successful life. But there's five areas that we have to be mindful of when it comes to relationships. There's relationship with God, relationship with ourselves, relationship with family and friends,